everyone. Today we will be doing permutation and combination. So we have here the definition for combination and permutation. So first, permutation, we're going to use it whenever order matters. And combination, we're going to use it when order does not matter. So we have here the formula for um, permutation and combination. So before we jump into these formulas that we have over here, let's have an illustration first to better understand what a permutation is and what a combination is. Because we talked about here, the order matters for permutation and order does not matter for combination. But how do we, what does it mean? So let's take, say for example, I have the letters A, B, C, D, and E. Now the question that I would ask here is that how many different ways can we arrange two of these four letters? Arranging them, two of them at a time. So I can go ahead and have a list. So I go ahead and say A, B, A, C, A, D, A, E. Okay. Now I can also go ahead and arrange starting from B. So you can go ahead and say B A, B C, B D, and B E. Then I can go ahead and start on C. So C A, C B, C D, and C E. Then I start on D here. So D A, D B, DC and then DE. I can start on E, so that would be EA, EB, EC, and ED. Now, if we look at this, we can um, we can count all of these, and that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we have um, 20 ways to arrange two letters out of four. So we can go ahead and say that the permutation is, uh, we are given, again, five letters. So this is for permutation. So five letters, and we are arranging them two at a time. So that is 20 combinations. So this is what we mean by permutation. So that's permutation right there. So there were five letters total, and we're arranging two of them at a time. Now for combination, so let's see what a combination is. So in this case that we have here, if I have A, B, B, A in combination is, A, B and B, A in combination are counted as one. So that means this one is, we, uh, we cross out this one right here. So we're gonna cross out the B, A. Since in combination, the A, B and B, A are counted as one. A, C, and CA are counted as one. So we're gonna cross this out. AD and DA in combination are counted as one. Again, for permutation, we count every single one of them. But for combination, we are going to cross out those that, ha that like the AB and BA, they're counted as one for combination. AE and EA are counted as one. We have BC and CB are counted as one. B, D, and D, B are counted as one. B, E, and E, B are counted as one. C, D, and D, C are counted as one. And then C, E, and E, C are counted as one. D, E, and E, D are counted as one. So here we can go ahead and say that for combination, five, we pick two. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we got... 10. So for permutation, we got 20 ways to arrange it. In combination, we got 10. So in combination, we count only A, B, and B, A. We're counting it as one because they're just the same for combination. It's seeing it as the same uh, the same combination, but for permutation, they are different because again, in permutation, order matters and combination, order does not matter. Now, um, let's use the formula that we have here to check uh, on this 20 and 10 because sometimes others are going to say, oh, why can't we just go ahead and do this? Why do we have to use the formula? Because in some cases, suppose I have to arrange all the way to Z. 
A, B, C, all the way to X, Y, and Z, and arrange them to, there's gonna be a lot of combination because there's gonna be a lot of letters in the alphabet. So the use of formula would be necessary in order that we can do the math pretty quick. So let's see this uh, permutation that we have here. So five and then P2. Let's plug this into the formula. Our N is five factorial divided by our N is again five. Our R is two factorial. And so we can simplify this to be five factorial over three factorial. Factorial in math means we are going to multiply the number all that we go backwards. So we go five times four times three times two times one. That's what we mean by factorial. So we go we go down until we go to one and then multiply them. So three factorial would mean three times two times one. So from here we can cross out the um, 3 times 2 times 1, and we can cross out 3 times 2 times 1. So we are left with 5 times 4 is 20. And that's how we got the 20 right here. Okay, now let's uh, show the work for combination. Combination. So that would be 5, C2, then we put the numbers in. So our N is again 5 factorial over the r is 2 factorial times the n is 5 minus um, 2 factorial. So let's uh, write it out. So that would be 5 uh, factorial over 2 factorial times 3 factorial. So that means that is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 2 times 1 times 3 factorial would be 3 times 2 times 1. So then from here, we can cross out the 3, 2, and 1 here. And then we are left with um, 5 times 4 is 20 over 2 times 1 is 2. So then our answer for this is... 20 divided by 2 is 10. And so that's how we got the 10 over here. Uh, this one again is n minus r. Now let's have some word problems over here. So let's take this um, example right here. Okay. So we have this um, problem over here. So what are we going to do is we are going to determine are we going to use uh, permutation for this or are we going to use combination on this. So let's take, let's go backwards over here. Start with a, a side here. So selecting three of five possible different brands of cereal. So the question that we're going to ask here in order that we can determine is it a, a permutation or is it a combination is to ask ourselves is does order matter? Or this or this order does not matter. So in this case here, if we uh, if we go to the grocery store and we are uh, we select cereals, does order matter in terms of which one we pick out of the five different brands? So the order does not matter. Okay. So this is a combination. So we can go ahead and say um, this is actually five. Again, uh, the order does not matter here. So this is a combination. Five C three. So then we go ahead and write the formula again. We use the formula that would be 5 factorial divided by r factorial is 3 factorial times 5 minus 3 factorial. So this comes out to be 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 divided by 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. And then 5 minus 3 is 2. So I go ahead and say 2 times 1. So in here, we can um, go ahead and cross these two out. So we are left with um, 20 divided by 2 is 10. So there are 10 different ways that we can um, 
select three of the five possible different brands of cereals. Now let's take the next one right here. So you choose three dishes from a menu that offers seven vegetable side dishes. So in this case right here, if you go to uh, the restaurant, uh, when you pick three dishes out with seven, seven possible choices, does it matter which one you pick first? So that's the, that's the question that you have to ask so we can, we can better, uh, we can better figure out is it a combination or is it a permutation? Does it matter when we, when we pick this three dishes from a seven, um, seven dishes menu? So it does not matter which one we pick first. So this is another combination. So I go ahead and write seven combination or C3. So since this is a combination, so we go ahead and write, we use the formula. So that is seven factorial and then that is three factorial times seven minus three factorial. So then we go ahead and um, simplify this. This would be seven times six times five times four times three times two times one over three times two times one times seven minus three is four. So four times three times two times one. So then we can cross out the four, three, two, and one over there. So then we, um, we use, uh, let's use a calculator on this so that this would be seven times six times five divided by six is 35. So there are 35 ways. So that's 35 right here. Now let's take the next one right here. We are introducing five, the first top five of the 30 students class. So uh, does order matter here? First top five. Yes, the order matter. So in this case right here, we, ha we are going to use permutation since the order matters. So first top five. So we're going to introduce the first one. We're going to introduce the second. We're going to introduce the third. It is in order. So order matters. So this is the permutation. So this would be 30. P five. So this is thirty factorial over. That's gonna be our. Uh, that's gonna be thirty minus five factorial. Okay. So in in this problem right here, we have um, thirty factorial would be. Um, this is gonna come out. Um, 30 times 29 times 28 times 27 times 26 times 25 factorial. And then I go ahead and write um, 30 minus 5 is 25 factorial. So then I can go ahead and cross out the 25 factorial and the 25 factorial. And then the answer that I'm going to have over here. 30 times 29 times 28 times 27 times 26. So that is the number right there. Now, um, so let me write that out. So that is 17100720. There is another way to do this on the calculator that I give you um, on in one of the, in one of the, um, links that I give you on Google um, on Google Classroom. So um, first we are going to go to function and then we go to NPR and then we go back here. Then we put the 30 and then we go to ABC, the comma that we have here. And then we go back to main and then we put in five and that is the number that we got over here. So that's one seven one zero zero seven two zero. So you can you can use the calculator that we have the way the way how we did it over here, or you can use this way. Okay. Now at this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem on your own. And when you are done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay. Let's go over this. So first we have um, this problem right here, arranging three songs from a playlist of 15 songs. So the 
pretty much like if we see the word arranged, then it means that order matters. So in this case right here, this is a um, permutation. So I go ahead and write 15 is the N, P, and 3. And then again, I'd like you to do the math. You can use calculator to, uh, to, to get these values here. So the answer for this one is 2730. Did you get this same answer right here? Good, perfect. Now let's move on to the next one. So is this a permutation or a combination? So a math club has 15 members and they want to elect president, vice president, and secretary. So when we do election, does order matter? That's always the first question that we need to ask. Does order matter? Yes, order matter for this because we elect the president first. After we're done, we go to the vice president and we go to the secretary. So order matters. So this is a permutation. So I go ahead and write 15 is the total and then we pick three of them because we have a president that's one vice president is another one secretary is the third one so that's three so this would be again the same thing as that so two seven three zero now let's take did you get the same answer as this one good perfect now let's move on to the third one the last one here a store company is electing or selecting three new employees from five applicants so there are five applicants does order matter when we when they pick these three employees i mean three when they hire these three uh, new um people here so are they are they gonna have a um a, an order so does order matter on this so order does not matter so this is actually a combination so c and then there's five total and that's a three so this is uh 10. so again in order that we can determine which one to use permutation permutation or combination you always have to ask yourself is does order matter if order um, uh, matter that's permutation if order does not matter then that is a combination did you get all these correct good perfect if you find this video helpful please like and subscribe for more math videos see ya